Hello, my name is Alexander Hagen from Arcane Bart Audio, and I just want to quickly show you two neat little tricks you can use in FMOD to add depth and realism to some of its common functions. The first one is creating a custom attenuation curve using a reverb send and some frequency filtering to simulate real life frequency roll off and reflections that you typically hear when things are a bit more distant. So instead of using just a volume attenuation on the spatializer, which you can still use if you want, but there's not really much customizability when trying to shape the roll-off. So what you can do instead is create a new parameter and using the built-in distance function, you can add your own custom volume attenuation with more flexibility when shaping the curve, as well as other effects for an added level of realism. So, as seen in the example here, this is a house in the game scene that's playing music. And the further away we get, the more sort of muffled and washy the sound becomes. Which in this case is a lot more realistic than just turning down the volume. I would of course strongly advise that when you create these curves, you adjust them based on how they fit and sound in the actual game. Also keep in mind that when adding processing to an event like this filter, it will process in real time on each instance of this event. In this case, it's not really an issue since we're only playing this loop once, and this effect in particular is classified as low overhead, meaning it is one of the cheaper effects. But it's worth being mindful of on events that play often and simultaneously. The reverb send, however, won't be multiplying in processing cost, since the processing itself is happening on a bus level, as opposed to on the actual event. The other thing I wanted to show you is how you can use the scatterer instrument with a spatializer on your ambient event to create a 3D depth to an otherwise 2D based ambient bed. So what I've done here is I've made a simple 2D loop containing wind and some very subtle bird noises. I usually like to keep the 2D elements of an ambience as low key and stable as possible so that there are no noticeable points in the loop that repeat and sort of poke out at the listener. Then what I've done to add the 3D element, which means the sounds are being localized in the actual game world, is I've added a scatterer instrument containing a nested event. And I'll talk about why in a tiny bit, but essentially without the spatializer on here, the sounds would rotate with the player and we don't want that. So now they stay positioned in the game world and the player can actually get a sense of which direction the sound is coming from. So taking a closer look at this nested event, I've made a similar parameter to the custom attenuation one from earlier, but it's being randomized instead of driven by any in-game variables. So every time the scatterer calls this event, the value is randomized, filling the game world with all sorts of ambient sounds that vary in volume, reverb, and high frequency content. If I had simply done this with a multi-instrument, I would not have been able to use my custom attenuation curve and get a new randomized value every time because the instrument itself would be triggered, giving significantly fewer options for randomization. I found these things quite cool, and just wanted to share it with anyone who might find a use for these things. Anyways, that's all for now. Thank you for watching.